Hello and welcome to Business News. The President African Development Bank, Dr. Akiwumi Adishino, says unless Nigeria tackles its energy deficiency and reliability, its industries will remain uncompetitive. Dr. Adishino will make the call at the annual general meeting of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria in Abuja, maintains that businesses in Nigeria can't survive without the use of generators. He explains that inconsistent availability of electric power has resulted in high and uncompetitive manufacturing costs as most manufacturing companies provide their own energy. Correspondent Helen Osamide Akins reports. High cost and unreliability of electricity supplies are some of the major challenges facing Nigeria's manufacturing industries. Most Nigerian manufacturing companies self-provide their own energy with high dependence on generators, diesel and heavy fuel. It has been estimated by the IMF that Nigeria loses $29 billion annually, 5.8% of its GDP due to lack of reliable power supply. Also, Nigerians spend $14 billion per year on generators and fuel. No nation has succeeded ever by simply exporting its raw materials. This is why the president of the African well, Development Bank says, unless Nigeria decisively tackles its energy deficiency and liability, its industry will remain uncompetitive. With the right policies, investment frameworks, infrastructure, logistics and financing framework, and powered by a highly trained, dynamic and youthful workforce, Nigeria must fully unleash the power of manufacturing. The manufacturing sector must continue to be supported and encouraged to scale up its capacity, reduce its cost of operations, and improve its competitiveness. On the African Free Trade Zone area markets, the Director General of the World Trade Organization, who joins the conference online, underscores the importance for Africans to trade within the region to improve logistics and wealth creation. In 2014, according to the UN Economic Commission for Africa, manufactured goods made up 42% of intra-Africa exports, but less than 15% of the continent's external exports. So when we trade with each other, we tend to add more value to our goods. Responding to the presentations, Nigerian president assures the manufacturers that the government will work assiduously in introducing reforms on the ease of doing business for Nigerian entrepreneurs. We will give consideration to some of the constraints that are yet to be fully addressed, especially those that align with our policies and programs for economic recovery and sustainable growth. It is believed that the source of Nigeria's greater wealth will come from having strong manufacturing capacity for competitiveness in regional trade and integration into global value chains. Helen Osamedai Akins, TVC News, Abuja.